Hi, boys and girls, how are you? I hope you're having a good morning or afternoon whenever you decided to watch this and make it work for your family. Today, we are going to do a STEM challenge, but before that, I wanna share a special story with you. There's actually a story from the Bible that connects to our STEM challenge today. You know what's coming up this weekend. It's the Easter holiday. Easter, the day we celebrate when Christ rose from the dead, came back to new life, and has opened the gates of heaven for us, okay? The sign of Easter, one of the signs of Easter, is the egg, the Easter egg. Lots of you have these around your house, plastic eggs. Eggs are a sign of Easter because eggs are new life. Inside each egg is a chicken, and that is a new life that will happen. That is how eggs became the symbol for new life, when Christ gave us new life. So we use eggs on Easter for that. When Mr. Dorn and I got married um, at St. Mary Church, the priest who married us gave us um, a special gift. He gives this basket with these eggs in it to symbolize the new life that Mr. Dorn and I were going to start together when we got married. We keep these eggs in a special place to remind us of the new life of our marriage and the life that Christ gives us. So these eggs have a special place in our life. There's a story from the Bible that you'll hear on Easter that goes with that. I'm going to read from the Bible that I showed you yesterday. It was the first day of the week and the sun was coming up. Mary Magdalene and the other women went to Jesus' tomb. They were going to visit Jesus, who they thought was placed in the tomb. Who will run the big stone away? But when the women got there, the stone was already gone. And the women walked into the tomb and Jesus' body was gone. Mary ran to tell Peter and John. Two angels came and said, do not be afraid. You're looking for Jesus, but he is not here. He is risen. After the women were gone, Peter and John came running and saw that the tomb was empty, just as Mary had said. And then John believed that Jesus was alive again. But Peter still wondered. Mary Magdalene went back to the empty tomb. She was crying. What had happened to Jesus? Why are you crying? She heard someone ask. Mary thought it was the gardener. Then Mary heard her name. The one talking to her was Jesus. Teacher, cried Mary. Mary ran to tell the disciples that she had seen the Lord. The other women were on their way to tell the disciples what the angels had said. Suddenly they met Jesus. Don't be afraid, he told them. Go and tell my disciples. They will see me there. And the women hurried to find the disciples. Jesus was risen. Jesus' new life brings new life for us in heaven. And the, our egg is the symbol of that. So your STEM challenge has to do with an egg. Here's what I'd like for you to do. You're going to make a basket that can hold a plastic <coughs> Easter egg. Eggs are a sign of Christ's new life in the resurrection. The basket must have sides all the way around and a handle that stays attached when you hold it. You can use any supplies at your house, plastic eggs, and of course our favorite tape. All right, this is a little basket that was in our house. It has sides and it has a handle. You may not use a basket that's already created. I'd like for you to look around your house and see if you can find two plastic eggs. If you do not have plastic eggs, that's fine. Take a piece of paper, scrap paper, and ball it up. That can be your egg, okay? You need to make a basket that can hold these. All right, he, these are a sample of some supplies that I gathered in around our house. You could use material. You could use popsicle sticks. You could use colored paper or scrap paper that you can cut or fold. You can use felt. You could use Legos. I know we have a lot of Lego builders out there. Doesn't matter what materials you use. You might find many other things at your house. Take those supplies and make a basket that has sides and a handle that can carry them. Before you start, you know we always had to have a plan. Draw your plan on this paper. 
label it. Label where the eggs will be. Label what you're going to make the sides out of. Label the handle, okay? I don't wanna see a scribble scrabble plan. Take your time, make your drawing neat, and make your label so we can read them. Then build your basket. When you're done, take a picture of your plan and your basket and send it to us. I can't wait to see how many different baskets there are out there. There's lots of ways to do it. What happens if the first way you try doesn't work? It's okay. Remember, you might fail the first time. You just try it again. Try something else. Try a different way. Okay? Build a basket for an egg. You can use plastic eggs or paper if you don't have one. All right? Happy building. Use your thinking brains, and we will see you soon. Have a great day, kindergarten.